Commission to have the opportunity to honor our first two members of the Hall of Fame. Um, but having said that, as a kid growing up in Dearborn in the 60s and 70s, as much of an honor it is for me to be here as a member of the commission, it's even a bigger thrill for me to be here because I remember watching our two Hall of Fame inductees uh, participate as athletes at Fordson High School. So I'm sure my memory can't do justice as to what fantastic athletes they were, but what we'd like to do is roll the first tape, and I think they can tell you why they're here today. Roll the tape, please. Deciding to nominate Steve for the Recreation Hall of Fame was an easy decision because he excelled in sports from an early age. While growing up in Dearborn, he was instrumental in Dearborn recreational teams, including many teams in the junior baseball program and the city's youth basketball squads. All the years playing for Dearborn Rec made Steve a great athlete, and he was again able to show off his skills while attending Fordson High School. Steve was on one of the very best basketball teams of Fortson High School. He uh, broke the single season scoring record for Fortson High School. He led the team in rebounds. Um, but most importantly, he had big, his best games in the real big games. In the last three games of the state tournament, he scored 26 points in each of those games. In football, he was a quarterback at Fortson High School. And um, he led the team uh, to three of their wins uh, versus Etzel Ford, Dearborn, and Highland Park on last quarter passing drives. Um, he went on to be a quarterback at Purdue University, um, and he gave the University of Michigan a big scare. Uh, he completed six out of six passes against the University of Michigan in relief of Gary Danielson, another former Dearborn uh, resident. Um, he had a, a very big game against Northwestern at Northwestern, uh, winning the game in the fourth quarter on a passing drive. Um, he also played baseball for Fordson, um, and he was the leading pitcher. He was given up only a half of a run per game as an 11th grader, you know, and I think that what Steve's most proud of is uh, during the biggest moments of the biggest games, he performed at his best. And all the players knew that they could count on him in the biggest of games, that he was going to show up and play and, uh, and lead the team. For Steve, his family played a huge role in his success as an athlete and all other aspects of his life. We, Steve would tell you we were very fortunate. You know, um, first of all, to be born in America, and then to uh, be born in Dearborn, and we lived at the corner house of Ford Woods Park, which had all those recreational programs and very good um, Dearborn public schools. Um, but, you know, what sticks out most, uh, I, I bumped into three friends from high school, uh, friends I hadn't seen in 30 years, and the first thing each of them said to me was, Bill, you had the very best of parents. You know, um, my uh, father uh, loved football, basketball, and baseball. He grew up in southern Indiana, and uh, right after his senior basketball season, he joined the Marines to go fight in World War II. He fought with the old breed in three of the nastiest battles in World War II. He came back and uh, met uh, my mother, who graduated from Salina and then Fortson, and uh, participated in synchronized swimming and uh, basketball, competitive basketball and competitive softball. Um, my father was very creative and a craftsman. Um, at a very early age, he drew a, a strike zone on one of the walls and created a target that when you hit the target, it lit up. And we learned a pitch throwing at this target in the basement. They bought the lot next door to our house, and my father put in a pitching mound uh, and where Steve uh, practiced pitching. Uh, next to that was a basketball court where my father actually poured the cement, and it 
was made specifically for playing basketball. He hand built the uh, backboard. He took a piece of plywood, put uh, aluminum on each side of it, piece of aluminum, and then uh, a rubber hose around the thing. And it was the very best backboard I've ever played on. As children, we grew up uh, at the corner of Fort Woods Park, and nobody had it better than us living where we lived with the parents that we had. It's obvious that the supportive environment Steve grew up in helped teach him the skills that made him an incredible athlete and a devoted family man. Purdue did not list my brother as eligible for the NFL draft, and uh, immediately after the draft, we were kind of surprised that the Dallas Cowboys called our house and wanted Steve to fly to Dallas with his agent the next morning. Steve didn't have an agent, and he asked him if his father could come with him. <coughs> I think that Steve not only respected his father's advice, but he wanted to share that experience with his father. And when he was nominated for this award, uh, I think it was very important for Steve uh, to share this nomination and this award with uh, his father. Ladies and gentlemen, our first inductee 